Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the broadcast today. Uh, now, in our weekly Patreon Zoom calls on Sunday evening for co-creators, governors, and legislative and judicial sons in the courtrooms of heaven, we've been talking a lot about Yahweh beginning to prepare us for a great release of financial blessings uh, to his trusted stewards. Uh, so we're in this season of divine preparation in order to uh, righteously receive and be a blessing to others in building his kingdom on the earth. Uh, Third John 2 says in the Amplified Version, Beloved, I pray that in every and all ways that you may succeed and prosper and be in good health physically, just as your soul prospers spiritually. So it's not just about money. It's, all, it's about it in every way and in all things. So, you know, I have to look around and say, are my, maybe my relationships are not prospering. Maybe my marriage is not prospering like it should be, or my family life, or my business, or my career, whatever. It may not be prospering the way you see that biblically. Where you may have had some prophetic words about that increase, but, but the foundation of everything prospering is your soul has to prosper as well you shall prosper even as your soul prospers spiritually. So your, your soul is not prospering if things are not manifesting, and you, are, you could be perpetuating darkness if you're in agreement with, with a vow of poverty, a vow of sickness, a, a vow of a disease, uh, or whatsoever. And so how can I be in agreement? Well, you may be praying and having others to pray for you, but nothing is happening. That's one sign that, that something's out of alignment with God's purpose and God's plans to release what he has for you. Uh, nothing is changing. You have to deal with the root issue many times, not rather than just pray and, and uh, uh, expect pray, prayer to work. Then things will change. Uh, when we see the condition of our heart and what we speak out of our mouth as the roots of the uh, thing, the legal rights that keep us in bondage. So I mean, you may be speaking things like, it never works out, it's too hard, I can't, I can barely keep up with the bills, I always get sick this time of year, I have allergies, my mom had allergies, my dad had allergies, so I'm going to have allergies too. Those are legal, legally binding contracts that causes you to be in agreement with whatever is going on in your life. So we need to break those in the courts of heaven. Job twenty two twenty eight says, decree a thing and it shall be established. Now that works both ways. If you decree and continue to decree something negative, you have created a legal right in the courts, in your life, in your whatever you're decreeing over, if that's negative, that's going to perpetuate the darkness. If it's positive, it's going to be serving as a co-creative force that releases the light power and the energy into whatever you're speaking to because you're a co-creator. You're bringing that into existence out of the out of the unseen realm into the natural realm. So you you can even create a legally binding agreement by saying things like my cancer. My allergies. I don't even like to say my ministry because it's not. I want to be a steward of the Lord where he is He is speaking through me. He is living his life. The word says I live and move and have my being in him, but I want to allow him to live and move and have his being through me. So I have to surrender all my desires and my wants and my needs, what I think is right, what I think is important, and inquire of the Lord, what does he want to for me to declare? Jesus was our example there. I only do what I see my father do. I only say what I hear my father say. And if you see me, you see my father. Jesus didn't look for any recognition, so neither should we. If we're based on recognition and trying to build a platform, he says, I'll build the house. It's not your responsibility. I lift everything up to him. I give everything to him. I surrender everything to him, everything I do, not just finances. So you may may not even be aware of why you are not prospering and walking in divine health, but it may even have spiritual roots like we're talking in your generational bloodline. So I want to encourage you, if you haven't uh, learned yet, my Patreon group has a six-hour Courtrooms of Heaven training intensive. Goes to 
through all the protocols and guidelines you need. I want to encourage you to, to learn about the courtrooms of heaven because just about everything uh, uh, negative or positive is uh, uh, about agreements, legal agreements. So step into the courtrooms of heaven. Inquire of the Lord in the process of discovery, just like a natural attorney does, and legislate through repentance to remove those legal rights that are keeping you in bondage, that have kept you in a legal, legally binding contract to keep you in the situation you're in. Stop saying those words. Stop declaring, I'm, I'm sick, my cancer, uh, I can't do this, I can't do that. I don't know what's holding me back. Well, you know, if you're one with, uh, with the Father and divine uh, oneness and a union with Him, he shares his omniscience with you, and he's he's uh, willing to share whatever uh, you have need of. He is all knowing, and so if you're even saying I can't hear the voice of God, I don't hear the voice of God, or things like I don't dream, well, you need to change what's coming out of your mouth. You have to realize that you are a co-creator, and what you speak manifests and creates your reality. So what is in your heart is even more creative than uh, what comes out of your mouth. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if that abundance is negative, you're going to perpetuate that uh, uh, negativity in your life. You're going to perpetuate darkness in your life. If it's positive, you're going to be a co-creator, a governor, a legislative and judicial son to cause that thing to come forth and break forth like the dawn. So the results are you are either a victim and you bow your, your knee to the circumstances or you decide, I'm going to flip this thing. I'm, I'm going to become a co-creator. I am a co-creator uh, who governs and functions as a legislative and judicial son who overrules my circumstances and I create a new reality, whatever that may be, prosperity, is what we're talking about today. Matthew 20, uh, excuse me, Matthew 9, 29 says, according to your faith, let it be done unto you, unto you. So you have to believe it and create it. A faith can be a negative faith. If you don't have faith to believe for something that the Bible promises you already have. One of my uh, uh, famous scriptures, not my famous, but one I really like is, he's given me everything pertaining to life and godliness. Do you have faith to believe that? Maybe you don't. Maybe you're complaining about your bills. Maybe you're complaining about this and that. Complaining never got you anywhere. You want to just switch and change. And so Robbie Venter put out a post the other day. I'm going to just read that to you and then we'll close and, and uh, uh, talk to you next time. But he said, Robbie Venter said, for centuries, Christians entered into a vow of poverty. Now, this is a lot about poverty, the vow of poverty, but we have to look at what have we vowed. It may be something else like sickness. We may have vowed sickness. For centuries, Christians entered into a vow of poverty. They thought that they were being of service to God by doing this because they had a negative association with wealth. They thought wealth was evil, money was evil. They had good hearts and a great, great intention, but by doing this, they turned down their inheritance. We don't want to turn down their inheritance by what we govern, what we create, what we have in our heart, what we speak out of our mouth, what actions we take. We want, we want the fullness of God's inheritance. It's our legal right. It's, so it was all based on a big misunderstanding that money was evil. Scriptures say, says the love of money is the root of all evil not money itself. So wealth is a tool that can be used to enable impact. Nehemiah, Moses, David, Solomon, all and many others understood this. Wealth is a good thing. In fact, in one of the Psalms, it says, uh, money answers all things. And so it's like, you know, we need money to build an advance the kingdom. We need to embrace our inheritance instead of entering into vows of poverty and pushing away what God wants to put into our hands. So expand your vision, expand your 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 uh, 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 vision, expand your thoughts, expand your heart to include God's prosperity. I believe God's people should be the most wealthy people on the planet, and here we're seeing a lot of. 
Christians criticizing somebody who has money. Maybe a famous uh, pastor or evangelist has money. I have no problem with somebody having money. What are you going to do when you get a million dollars? You're going to go buy a house. What are you going to do? You're going to go buy a new car, and now you're fussing about uh, somebody, uh, uh, God's loved ones, uh, uh, having money. Uh, what you're doing is you're you're causing a curse to come upon your life. You're cursing your own life, and you're not in agreement with prosperity. You're actually operating out of the out of the wrong spirit. So that. That way we have a greater, we're going to have a greater ability to enter into a greater ability and have impact that will transform the world. So that's my message today. I want to encourage you to watch, uh, join my YouTube channel, subscribe there. You help me grow the channel. And uh, uh, I want to encourage you also to join my Patreon co-creator group. It's all actually considered uh, Mobilize the Legislators Initiative. It's a little hard to say sometimes, but uh, that's the mandate that God, gave me it's all about the courtrooms of heaven governing and co-creating with him not just doing things by ourselves but i just want to share that with you today and thank you for listening and we'll see you next time god bless